Because I'm going to be cutting these pieces here out as an inlay, I need to set the depth of plunge to cut all the way through this material. Obviously, I can't lift this up and use it to set the depth on the plunge router, so I find another piece of wood that's about the same thickness, and I will use this piece of wood to adjust my plunge router's depth of cut. Okay, I'm going to set the depth of plunge to cut out my ornaments now, so I'm going to depress the plunge router all the way down and flip it over. I am cutting out inlays, so I do not want my bearing on. This bearing has to stay off, the bushing is off. Taking a template, placing it up there, and then this is my sample material. And I cannot fill the router bit at all, so I definitely need to change my depth. And all right, we should be good. All right, so it's time to take the templates on the base material here and cut out the inlays. As you can see, the templates have been aligned and they're stuck into place. They're definitely not moving. So now all I have to do is clamp the entire assembly to my workbench and then I will route out these ornaments as inlays. Now I'm just going to repeat the process on the other four ornaments and then I'm, uh, we'll be through cutting these out. All of my ornaments have been cut out now, so the next thing to do is to remove the frame from the backing material. Now I'm going to leave the ornaments on the backing material stuck into place because I have to do some sanding. And while I have to sand the ornaments, that doesn't necessarily mean I want to sand all this extra wood out here that is going to be thrown away anyway, or used for other stuff, I suppose. That area right there I could use for something else, but that's not the point. The point is, the frame now comes off. By the way, I always like to use gloves for this, mainly because I got stabbed once and it hurt. <laughs> All right, well, there we have it. The frame is done now. I can start sanding, but before I start sanding, I need to do the exact same thing to these pieces and cut them out as ornaments also. Before I fill these ornaments with epoxy, I'm going to cut them out first. I've just found it to be easier that way. So using the alignment marks, I'm going to start taping my templates to the uh, inlay material, and then using the inlay procedures, I'm going to cut out each ornament. My templates are in place, and as you can tell, nothing is moving, so I can, uh, I can route them out. I've already set the depth of plunge to cut all the way through this material. I did that when I was cutting out my uh, yellow heart ornaments. If you remember correctly, these ornaments and these ornaments were at the same thickness, and seeming how I just cut out the yellow hearts, this is already set up correctly. I decided to cut this, uh, these ornaments out in two passes. You can tell I didn't cut all the way through. And the reason is, I, I cut this one out in one pass, but I started to smell a little too much burning. So I decided to cut these out in two passes than, instead of one. Now that's okay because I haven't taken the template off yet, so my pattern is still in place. I can just reuse it and uh, just make another pass now and cut the rest of the way through. But cutting through thicker material, take two or three passes as needed. It's okay to do that.
Well, as you can tell, all of the ornaments have now been completely cut out. All right, I'm going to remove the frame, but I'm going to put on gloves first because I don't like splinters. And now we're ready to do some sanding. <laughs> 